Yo, bro, what up, bitch? Do you know you can get BTS Got 7, Blackpink, Stray Kids, TXC, Monster X, Twice, 17, and NCT merch? No way. Where can I find some? Go to things? Beautiful Halo, bro, using the link in the description. Are there any discount codes, perhaps? Or Damn. free shipping? Both, bro. No way. Yes, way, though. Use the code MEME for 5% off on purchases over $49. Or MEMES for 10% off on purchases over $49. Wait, 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 what are those? Go to Beautiful Halo. And don't forget to use our links in the description. What up, Lovey Pack? What up, guys? Yo, today we're going to be checking out some Stray Kids. The Stray Kids talk double not english version uh district nine tour being a yes. straight kid yes and oh obviously on this with zach sang oh, uh, he's, he's an amazing interviewer we love so zach we're just gonna be checking this out we're finally gonna be able to check it out because we're actually gonna be checking out three racha it's gonna be a three racha marathon uh for the next couple weeks uh while we check out all their mixtapes so hope you guys enjoy plus right. since like i think the way we're gonna do it is like uh like the three racha mix mixtape and since they're like 30 minutes long uh we might do just extra videos for you guys so hope you guys enjoy those uh, maybe some two kids room or or like other or like uh, Dingle School episode three two because we haven't checked it out um, or other sh or like other stuff like that you know it was just like little little tidbits here Yo, and there. And so you guys, guys are a little confused here on YouTube. Supporting. It's because this video you are is right. for our Patreons. So our Patreons yeah. got it a long time ago. So you guys want to you know have yeah. videos first of over Patreon and everything my bro said. Thank you for All explaining the reviews. David. Variety shows so much, just so much. Make sure yeah. you guys check out our Patreon link below, yeah. right there. Because our Patreons, so thank you so much for supporting. Love you guys so much, and bro. Yep, Yo, it's like they, we, we love Zach. For, for Patreon yeah, early yeah. access, hope you guys enjoy. Thank you guys yes. for watching and supporting us on here. If you're on YouTube and you're considering joining, thank you to those thank that you are considering. Hope you guys enjoy and let's -a go. Let's go, yo. Let's go. Step up. Hello, we are Stray Kids. Woo! Wow. Right now, we're just with Zach Zang. Wow. Yeah, we had such a great time. He has time. such a good radio so amazing. I love how they gave Felix his own mic, you know, just because of his voice, man. Look at that. Look at that. <laughs> That's not going anywhere. <laughs> A lot of stuff, so please, check it out. Please. Zach Zang Show. Let's do this. What an intro. Those guys have definitely been successful. Hello, beautiful answer. human. We got Sanchez here. We got Dan here. Yo. And we casually have Dan. straight kids in the studio. Right. Damn. Woo yeah. Yeah. Stray kids. Yeah. Wow. Hello. Hi. Are you okay with that microphone, Felix? Yeah, no, it feels good. <laughs> it's uh, I feel kind of trapped, but yeah, it's yeah. good. We good. We good. Okay. Are, is everybody, like, I want to say this is the most people we've had in this studio. Really? And I'm trying to gather everybody uh -huh. and make sure that we're all here. Hello. <laughs> Uh, hi. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Zach, no. Hello. By the way, before we start, I do have to do a commercial real quick. Uh, this conversation you see how he had to say two. hi to IN. Just then. <laughs> He's like, hi. 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 Wireless, they're really cool. Little bro. Um, there's never been a better time to move to Total Wireless. If you want more information, link in the bio. Yeah. Okay, Stray Kids, thank you for giving us time and energy. What is it like just getting around? <laughs> because there's so many of you, oh, and right. your team is thick, dude. Thick <laughs> with like four C's. Oh. It's, it's like a moving family. Yeah, we, yeah. Well, we all live together as well. Sure. Um, yeah. It's wow. uh, it's it's not so bad though, because we we yeah we have two cars, so before each for each car when we move around, so it's it's not so bad. But yeah. is it a, a lot of people to remember, a lot of personalities <laughs> to keep track of? It's it's funny. It seems like there's a lot of people, but right. then again, we feel so close to each other mm. that it's like just just one big family. That's it. Yeah. Plus, we've known each other for <clears throat> a very long time, so mm -hmm. there's nothing to worry about. Yep. You guys live together? Yeah. 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 yeah we live together. <laughs> oh my god, what's that like? <laughs> that's crazy. You don't want to know. Every night is crazy. Every night. <laughs> Every night, I, I don't think every night is crazy. Yeah, I love how, like, Zach especially seems really shocked that there's so many of them. But for me, it's like, that's normal, you know, because we've been watching K-pop. I was like, that's normal. What kind of questions are these, you know? But it makes sense. It makes sense. It definitely makes sense. Because you guys have been together for so many years that you've, like, the, the glamour or the, like, party side of this whole thing probably has worn off. Mm. Do you get what I'm saying? Like, Obviously, you guys hang out for the first time, like the first, maybe the first few months. It's like insane. I know you do the reality yeah. show. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But you probably have like a routine every day. Like people go to the gym, you know what each other eats for breakfast. Oh, yeah. true, true, true. Yeah. From the reality show, what do you learn about each other? <coughs> um, 
Well, honestly, we knew each other before the whole show even started. But, um, but that must bring you closer. Yeah, it did. It yeah, did. It, it did. did. The show brought us really, really close because um, we had to face like um, challenges and missions that you know would um, maybe threaten you know if we were gonna go as you know all the members or not. Yeah. But um, luckily, you know, in the end, you know, we got to be who we are right now, and we're just really, really close due to the fact that we got through the reality show. Mm-hmm. You got through the reality show, but you also got through a ton of training. Yeah. Yep. It's, your story's amazing. What does stray kids mean? What? Stray kids. Stray mm. kids. What wow. Mean? Stray kids. <laughs> it's got a lot of meanings. Um, one of our, um, our biggest uh, phrases that we always talk about is stray kids everywhere all around the world. And it's not just saying that, you know, us stray kids being everywhere all around the world, but it's, it's more of, um, you know, because... For anyone, they could feel astray, right? They could feel, you know, hopeless. They could feel, you know, a bit lost. And um, I guess everyone can be a stray kid and we're just reaching out to those people with our music. Wow, and, um, I, I love I think that's one of kids, our yeah. key goals, you know, being a yeah. part of stray kids. For, for you two on the end, I mean, growing up in Australia. Yep. Yeah. What was it about K-pop for you guys? Like, why? why? I, and I don't mean to ask that in such like a mm-hmm. brash way, but like... Could have done other stuff, right? True, true, true. true. But you want to go first? Yeah. Oh, I mean, I guess for me, when I was little, I, I just grew up listening to music, whether it's K-pop, pop. I listened to all kinds of genre of music. And, you know, having to listen to K-pop growing up, I guess it made me think, oh, you know what? Why not just give it a shot? So if there's any chance coming by, you know, get ready for it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But like you have a I pop like that. scene so too. You could have right? done like a. Because uh, I feel like being part of a like like or like going to like a company, right? It seems like a huge commitment. But he's like, let's give it a shot. <laughs> like it's so yeah. nonchalant. It's like if it. a door opens, I'm taking it. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. <laughs> Australian Idol or something. True. Oh, true. 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 W- what but, was it about like the genre? Oh, like for me, for K-pop is especially K-pop. I was just very into dancing, you know, mm-hmm. how they prepare for stages. And so even performing about dancing and having to show all kinds of other stuff, that just really caught my attention mm-hmm. to what K-pop really is. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, that's why I look forward to it. Because it really is different. Like the way the, the, the way an artist's journey kind of exists and the way it evolves, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. like with the stages, with the mm-hmm. trainee program, with yep. everything, like it, yep. it's a different level of investment that people have in the music and in the artist. Yeah. Very true. Is there pressure that comes along with that? I think it's different for everyone, um, especially for me, because uh, <laughs> I've been a trainee for I think around eight years now. Eight years. Yeah, wow. it's, it, was, well, it, it took me eight years to yeah. finally debut. But um, I think for me, the biggest pressuring thing was if I could make it or not. Um, you know, if this is gonna you know, go where I want it to go. I don't know if I'm going to debut or not, you know, but I'm still here. Um, there, there probably is a reason why I'm still here. I'm going to keep trying. And then, yeah, results came and it was amazing. So, I, I, But, like, not knowing what's going to happen, I think, for me, was the most pressuring. Hmm. So eight years you're in this program, that's, like, a really hard thing to be a part of. Like, it's <laughs> yeah. not easy. Is there a real fear that you might not debut? Yes, there is, because um, I don't know. I, it's probably different for a lot of companies, but um, uh, I guess when from companies, from companies' opinion, um, if they think you don't have the potential anymore, they <clears throat> could just yeah, they can just yeah. cut you out and Damn. like you know we don't think. I you're wonder. Get any- I wonder how he felt being eight years right or like seven years in, and then with that feeling. Dude, oh, so you know what this reminded you know? me of? Remember Produce X 101? Which, by the way, you guys are on our Patreon. You guys can watch it because of gold tier. We watched all of it. Remember in Produce X 101? That guy that kept trying every year. He was even the company, never got to debut. But he was still an actor. Mm. Oh, yeah. And he's like, I'm getting old. He said, I'm getting old. I'm afraid, you know? He was the oldest one yeah. there. He was like with... He it's was like, like, probably late 20s or something, right? Like, it's true. Like... Was you gotta like think about there's like so many people 26. that have been for so long a trainee. They're reaching an age too where they're getting, you know, older. Like at least on the older side. It's like, wow, you yeah, spent yeah. your whole life investing in this for your future and didn't work out. That must be so sad, dude. Yeah, because most of the time, <gasps> the group seem to debut 
up to like 21 years old. Yeah, they're getting maybe. like you're getting younger and younger every time, you know. So you know, like once you pass a certain age, you're like, damn. And like, if you go to be a trainee, what we learned is that you gotta you leave school, you leave your family, leave you like you leave so many no, things to reach this no, goal. No, you don't even it's leave such a school. Sacrifice. You go to school. You go to school while like they went to that's school true, while true, still being true, a trainee. It's such a sacrifice. Which makes it it's even a big harder. Sacrifice. Like damn. Wow. When they can say bye bye. There was a time when, um, for me, for me, I had a lot of um, you know, people that I was close to, but then, oh, besides just me, everyone else just yeah. did not make it, and I was alone for quite a while. And that's when, you know, like a lot of thoughts came in, and yeah, I I was in like a very dark stage of my time, and it was pretty hard, mm. but. Getting through all that, um, I don't know, got my mindset to get a bit more clear, clearer. Um, these boys came in and, mm -hmm. yeah, they basically yeah. saved me. <laughs> They'll rock my we'll world. Save. <laughs> yeah, you saved me. You saved me. <laughs> <laughs> or did Boy, you save, save each other? Oh. I think we saved each other. Yeah. Ooh. We were destined to be. Oh. Ooh. Wow. Baby, baby. Oh, here we go. Here they go. This is okay. <laughs> I mean, for everybody, it was because you all have your different paths into this program. True. I mean, some of you guys were recognized on the street, and somebody came up to you. Some of you, like, actively sought it out mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and wanted to be a part of it because you recognized something in, within yourself. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. How do you stay true to who you are while you share this identity <clears throat> with eight other guys? Like, as a team? Yeah, I mean, because, like, you have to remind yourself who you are. We have artists that come in here all the time, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Who lose themselves to fame, in a sense, or this uh, character that they've created in an album. Uh, and then they have to remind themselves, you know what I mean? Like, like what their deal is, who they are again. No, no, no. There's, there's no, nothing to no. reassure with us because um, yeah. in our music, in our performances, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. and the... The, the people that you see in, in, in our album, photo book or whatever, that's who we are. Yeah. Like, everything is really genuine with us. If, if we have something on our mind, we put it in our song and we put Hell it yeah. out there. Hell you yeah. Because there may be people, there may be stays out there who are thinking the exact same thing. And so for us, I, we think that's really important, especially with us making our own music as well. Um, it's because, you know, lyrics and music wise, you know, we're the ones who are thinking it. We're the ones who are making it. And because, you know, fans and stays out there, they might be feeling the same thing. So that's why it's really important for us to be genuine and be who we are as stray kids while doing our music. But, yeah. but at the same time, like, you are stray kids, but would you consider each one of you a stray kid? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 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 Um, you know, if, if we didn't feel like a stray kid, um, we wouldn't be a stray kid. Like, we wouldn't be stray kids if we didn't feel like stray kid, if you, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Like, um, like, even with the name, like, I remember when we were watching the show, like, the, 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 the reality survival show, mm -hmm. they, like, he, he uh, what's it called? <clears throat> JYP was like, was it JYP? He's like, it's kind of long. Yep, it was JYP. Is that, but if it's that, if, like, if that's what you guys want, and it was so genuine to them, like, that's what they wanted exactly. to do and send out, yeah. you know? And all their music speaks for, uh, yeah, JYP appeals like, all that their long music name is, is not that. normal in the industry. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, it was like, it's like music for all the straight kids, and it like comforts them, yeah. you know? It's like someone out there is also feeling the same way. And that's why I love straight kids. Yeah, and I love the fact that Zach asked this exact question. Well, the question before this, before the, do you guys feel like straight kids, straight kids? I love the Kiasa because it gave uh, Chan the, the chance to explain so that in every song is literally about their lives. And if you guys like actually look at the lyrics for every song and pay attention to it, they literally talk about their lives, you know? It's like their mm -hmm. backgrounds, their backstories, their everyday lives, their fears. They talk about that. And yeah, you can tell it's up. personal. It, like for them, every song is super personal. Mm -hmm. And that's beautiful, you know? Like, like that, 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 that identity question. Definitely, mm -hmm. we see in their songs, they know damn well who they are, like, individually, too. It's beautiful. That's why we love Stray or Kids. if they don't know, like, if they don't know exactly. who they are, they the album's also like, the I am like, who, they're, they're, I am not, I am you. confusion is also. Yeah. Yeah, like, it's like, It ah, goes so through good. the psychological That's, thinking okay. of who I am. Yeah. Ah, this is beautiful. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. We, we're right, people. 
everyone's different, but we all share the same dream. True. And I think that's what the reason why we can, you know, you know, stick closer and have the same thoughts, have the same feelings, and become, you know, uh, all we can all join up to be stray kids. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Do you become a stray kid before or after training? Because you go into training wanting something and having this dream. True, true, true. Sure. Um, but stray kids doesn't mean you officially accomplished it. Of course, of course, of, of course. course. That's, that's, that's also true. Um, we... These are interesting questions, uh, man. You know, you know how the Damn. Um, the reality program started off with, um, I guess, just me, um, <clears throat> you know, recruiting everyone and, you know, showing what we're made of. And um, the reason why I could, you know, recruit everyone and have everyone together and, you know, you know, really show them what we're made of, it was because we had the same dream that we wanted to accomplish. And so if you put it in like a step-by-step kind of way, um, I guess the first dream was to actually debut. And um, I guess we did that as a team. And then now, after that, we have a lot of other things that we want to accomplish. Mm-hmm. Obviously, this series, mm-hmm. which is French, right? Oh, yeah. 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 Clay yeah. is French Clay. for key. Wow. So, the key series. Mm-hmm. And the last one was Levin. Levanta. Which mm-hmm. is wind. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's a med- Mediterranean wind, I think, yeah, in the Middle East. Yeah. What is like this thing is amazing? It's like a book. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It's Pass like it it's Let's the see. most like, <laughs> thing I've ever touched, and like the photos Don't are be selfish, cool. Zach. I mean, there's a real art to just the display of your music, which, by the way, is a K-pop thing. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And in the the U.S. music market has totally lost respect for the physical album you know yeah. what i mean oh, yeah, 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 definitely. yeah we don't make that anymore nobody like nobody right. does that <laughs> uh, <laughs> you guys yeah. in here you feel the Look paper that's this a good nice. that's a good quality paper yeah, it's, yeah. Good. Good. it's good paper it smells great <laughs> so you don't feel quality you gotta smell it wow oh, look at that smell. is the ink good you know i love this do you oh, thank you thank you each have your own favorite part of the creative process and like would love to go around the room. Oh yes. Uh, what do you guys Zach think? with that they tongue though. He's like, oh I'm yeah, can we put those dance look look? Oh yeah. Gosh. Uh what do you guys do? Let's go around the room now. 정말 많은 것들을 우리가 컴백할 때그 과정에서 이제 개인적으로 제일 좋아하는 부분 뭐든지. 네. 일단 저는 뮤직 비디오를 만들 때 제일 흥미가 가는데요. 어 되게 그 일단 처음에 뮤직비디오 시나리오를 볼 때도 그렇고 되게 멋진 이야기들 저희가 만들어 나가는 거잖아요. 그리고 음. 그 과정들을 찍는 거고 음. 그리고 그 찍은 모든 결과물들을 이 스테이랑 같이 공유를 할때 음. 정말 되게 설레고 재밌는 일 같아요. So for Han, um, you know, there's a lot of stuff that you know we do in the creative process, but um, for Han, especially when we're filming the music videos, um, it's really really fun for him because you know, because we are the ones who are filming the whole story and to be a part of it, it's really fun for him. And, you know, the final result of what we actually made as well, to be able to watch it, not just with us, but um, with our fans as well, that itself is really fun for him as well. Mm-hmm. Music videos. Yeah, music videos. Yes. You also like cheesecake? I love it. He <laughs> <laughs> also love cheesecake. Did he get him cheesecakes? Wow, bang on. That is my... Bang on. Oh. I'm a cheesecake guy too. Yeah. Yeah. yeah cheesecake Factory is amazing. Have you been? <laughs> oh, yeah. These guys are yeah, yeah, actually yeah. been. Oh, so good. And by, the original is in town. Like the oh, first really? one ever. Oh, oh really? Yeah, we, we went the last... Wait, wait, wait. We, 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 we went the last year. Yeah, okay. LA. Oh, LA. Oh. Oh, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. I wish you cheesecake in your suit, near near future. Okay, favorite part of the creative process. Let's keep going around the room here. Same opinion with time. I also like when we shoot. I think it's quite interesting that we can make the opinions for the scenes. Every Damn, okay, song man. Right. Mm-hmm. And I also love the Yo. meal time for music video. Dude, process song is bro. He's like, I love it when they bring food. And I love that. Oh too. man. Oh, that's so I cool. Can, I can imagine, you know. She's like, I don't After need no translator day, right you know, now. I got hard. this. Yeah, 
food. Oh my god. It's really, really good. Very we'll close. invite you next time. <laughs> <laughs> the craft service is attached to the music yeah. video. It's really <laughs> fabulous. It's, it's, it's amazing. Great. Great. Charge yeah. the energy. On sure. point. <laughs> yeah. It's Five really stars. important. Yeah. <laughs> you know, what are you thinking? Oh man. Uh, <laughs> um, so for Lino, it's um, when we're learning the choreography for the new performance. I'm kind of oh. sad I don't get to see Lino. Do you Lino. take lead on that? Do you there you go. Sometimes he teaches us. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who actually comes up with the dance moves? Um, well, in our company, we do have a special um, dance production team. So um, they would uh, work with us and we would share our opinions together. Oh, ideas. And yeah, we'd work with them while we're making the whole thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah. Let's keep going. Favorite part of the creative process. All right. I love Chad's reaction to every one of the responses. How do we uh, figure out who's going to take which verse? Especially, we share our opinions with our company, JYP. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Shout out to JYP. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. We, we share the opinions with company as well. If there's lyrics that you guys wrote personally, mm -hmm. uh, are you okay with having somebody else sing that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I think, I think we're really okay with it. You have um, to Sometimes, be. especially for, you know, Three Racha, when we write a song, we write the lyrics, um, you know, sometimes we would actually think of the person um, and writer. For example, for me, that's right. Um, oh, when oh, I was that's writing right. Gone Days, um, there was a pre part where it goes, Meto ga to But then when I was writing it, um, I really wanted um, Hyunjin to sing this part because I felt like he would make the. the, the yeah, he, he would really um, use that feeling really well. So it's, it's, I think that's it's all right. All the time. Mm -hmm. It's about the product. Yeah. It's about the song yeah. at the end of the day. Yeah. Yeah. And one of the intros, like there were little three rocks, and one of them was three rocks literally saying, I wrote this part thinking that I end was going to kill it. You know, this is for him. This is <laughs> his song, you know. I love that they think about this because, you know, since they're the writers for the group, they got to think of everyone and how their voices are going to fit into this and yeah, how, like, which part is going to be better, you know, so they can voices. kill each part. Oh, yeah. Good question. Yo, Zach, with these questions, man. My <laughs> God. All right, let me play. And what's best for the song? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, cool. So true. What's your favorite part? My part. <laughs> I'd go with same with Iron. I'd go with the same with um, recording the title track as well, because mm -hmm. I even like what Chan Young said. He always thinks about whose part you know would fit best, and you know sometimes Chung Bin Young would even think, oh, you know, for example, Felix would suit this, you know, deep low voice part, <laughs> you know, for example. So I take that like, oh, okay, I know what he wants. And so I listen to his recordings and the guides, and then yeah, I just go in for the recording. Nails and it. fans love it. And yeah. nails, nails it. it. You have this insanely beautiful. Jan is such a good leader. Right. It's all good now. It's all good now. <laughs> wow. Uh. This mic really does it wonder. Bravo. <laughs> <laughs> I think this mic is doing all the work. It's <laughs> actually pretty cool. Nah. Only 50% of the way. <laughs> By the way, Double Nod, that was a song that you guys recorded fully in English. Yep. What is that process like? How do you tackle just breaking that down? Um, we'll, we'll, we'll do it step by step. Um, first of all, we have the original song in Korean, mm -hmm. right? And then, okay, we're going we're gonna to make this in English. And so the process was, first of all, we had to change all the lyrics to English, right? He translated all of the things. Oh, ah. wow. <laughs> yeah. So um, Yeah, it was quite hard because I didn't want to change the original meaning of the song. Mm. And also, especially with the rap parts, because it's so fast. Yeah. I had quite a hard time trying not to break <laughs> the actual, the original flow, um, trying not to break the meaning. And, you know, somehow I got it. Somehow I got it. Sounds and, amazing. Um, it sounds Honestly, really I was, good. I felt too. a bit sorry to the people who had to record it because you know it's in a different language as well. Yet it's so fast and it's so yeah. not you know used to the the original pronunciation. But um, luckily everyone practiced really hard. Everyone nailed it. So I'm actually really thankful for the to the members who recorded it for. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> because I mean, is that the hardest recording session you guys take on? For me, my part was. 
bit short sentence because mm-hmm. I'm in charge of vocals. So true, true, true. Other rappers part was really long. <laughs> he was thankful for this full one. Full of <laughs> words. So I think rappers had a hard time yeah, for it. Really <laughs> He's like, I had it kind of easy. Yeah, so it was how, good. How was that part? You know, even if you think you can't get it. Out, did the bad, 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 bad. Oh, it is not easy for me. <laughs> 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 Very difficult. Sounds so good, though. Oh, oh yeah. Really? Great. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Shout out to rappers. Yeah. 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 Oh my god. It is like a Drop weird that you had to put together. Yeah. You know? Mm-hmm. Like because it, not all of it's gonna translate literally. Mm-hmm. So you have to match the essence, but also yeah. match the cadence of the song. Yeah. And, the flow. Yeah, that's it, it's a real challenge. But luckily Naughty. it came out really well. It so. did. It's genius. Uh, no, 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 But I'm kinda glad that it became like this. <laughs> yeah, but like the hardest part is on you guys for carrying it out and like it, it sounds amazing thank you why was it thank important you. to so do a song in english because you did two in english true 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 why was that important for you guys to make two songs in english well, all english for us we just wanted to well firstly having to you know to we wanted to make the songs in english for our um stays all around the world to understand our music better mm-hmm. and not only that we we really wanted to show our Levanta, which mm-hmm. it was our newest and mm-hmm. last um, side of play. Mm-hmm. And since that song's just very cool and calm and for it's very nice to hear. But we also wanted an energetic side for for example, Double Knot mm-hmm. was much more, you know, loud, mm-hmm. clear, you know, turn up. So yeah, we decided to do two songs for that. That's right. Yeah. Who came up with the French angle? Like where is where does that come from? La France. The, the plea? Yeah. Like, who, does anybody here speak French? Um, I, I learned a bit I'm of French. Oh, I'm not no. gonna, no. <laughs> I feel like, did you learn some? Uh, it was compulsory for me to learn French for two years. I oh, think, so wow. Like, really? high school. But then I, I forgot everything. <laughs> 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 yes, Felix. I, I, I was in like AP was French, bonjour. guys. <laughs> you know, bonjour. Bonjour. Do you want me to speak? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Sometimes. Oh, okay. Bonjour, je m'appelle Felix. Oh. 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 With the deep voice. Oh, so my God. Good, yeah. Yo, <laughs> Zach's in love, man. <laughs> Don't look at him. <laughs> Sorry, Zach. Oh, my God. You're going to seduce everyone here in the room. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I can't do that. And I don't even know what you said. <laughs> I said, hi, my name is Felix. Nice to meet you. How are you? Mm. That's simple. Wow. Yeah, I understood that because I also French. My oh, boy, yeah. hell yeah, oh bro. What's up? Come on, ça va. Yeah, ça va bien, bro. You have a tour coming. <laughs> Très bien. Très bien. <laughs> Très bien, man. We both said it. Hell yeah. Oh, good. Oh, good. You know, look. Slightly back. You have a tour coming. Yep. District 9. Mm-hmm. J. Swap. Unlock tour. So you're unlocking yeah. the key. True. Yeah. It's all you're Canadian. Getting you're getting the it. Yeah. <laughs> what is the key? What does it mean? Is there a meaning to it, or have you established a meaning? Oh, this goes so deep, though. Oh. Um. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm 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 explain. Uh, not too much, but I'm explaining like the important parts. You know the clay series. Um, clay. Well, it goes key one, key two, and then the last one is just clay and um, Levanta. But um. If you think about the whole thing, we're all relying on that key, you know, trying to get to new places, and we're all relying everything on the key. But in the end, we realize that, you know, this isn't, you know, the, the this isn't the answer. You know, this key that we're all trying to focus on, the key could be anything. It could be, you know, um, yeah. a dream that we had. It could be someone. It could be, you know, um, a person, I think, or whatever. But, um, you know, we wanted to show out in our last album that you know it's sometimes you know that can actually blind you from the real answer and maybe just letting go of that could show you something much more bigger and that's one of the meanings that we wanted to put out there i understand Whoa. that yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah because like you're so focused on this one thing that it's all you're seeing exactly you know when you release that focus Hell other yeah. stuff comes into focus that's that's true that's it the big picture oh. Hell yeah. mm. <laughs> Very <Big> cool. <laughs> yeah. Yep. So yeah. I, I don't think I've ever um, described it so correctly yet. Like, because we like leaving stuff for our fans, but um, yeah. To uh, interpret it in their own way. Everything. Whoops. <laughs> 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 so that was eloquent and wise. 
Thank you. Oh, no, 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 thank you. Yeah, we, so you're going to He said, this? like, wait, hold up. Go back to that. Because we say this every time we hear them explain their own music. I wait. wrapped up everything. The wise part. <laughs> that, was, no, that was eloquent and wise. Yep. Every time hell we yeah. see the intros, it's that. No, 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 thank it's you. wise so as hell. Like, how? It's this? so deep, too. Like, it's so deep. It was like, so they're like 50, 60 years old yep. with so much experience. Yeah, yeah. Um, so, um, well, it's not really based on... Um, you know what we wanted to say in that series but um with our concert we do have a lot of lot of different performances um songs from our um, last trilogy as well from this trilogy and um yeah it's like a whole package thing can you explain the series to me because i love it like i love this um, idea that like three or four different pieces mm -hmm. make up the entire story mm -hmm. and how it's kind of staggered and stuff mm -hmm. it, why is that the right way to tell the story of Stray Kids? Wow. Um, well, you know, this whole adventure that, you know, we're going through, we are still going through, it's um, a story itself. So we thought that, you know, um, even in the I Am series and the Clay series, having it as a series itself is just that much meaningful to us because it's like a, you know, especially when you watch, like, um, a drama or a movie, um, especially when it's in a series, you try to get more fo you get more focused into it, and it kind of feels like, um, you know, a moment where if I'm going through this while watching this, kind of feels like the same thing. Like if it, you know what I mean. Like yeah. I'm creating your own timeline, and um, I think for us, because with those um, series and the albums, it's what we feel and what we want to talk about. Um, it's you know, it's directly inside that album as well. So. When we think about, um, you know, the the I Am series, for example, if you think about um, <coughs> District Nine, all those memories that we had here, at oh District God. Nine would, you know, just come in. So it's it's kind of like a timeline thing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's following your life. Yep, that's what it is. It's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. Astronaut is the most recent record. Uh, no, one well, of the recent. One of the recent. Yeah. Uh -huh. One of the. Mm -hmm. yeah. Is there two? Well, when did Double Knock come out? The one that came out in uh, October. that album. Yes, as a single first, and then we put it into that album. Got it. Mm -hmm. Astronaut's a pretty cool record. Mm, Astronaut is. What do you, can you connect the title with the lyrics and give me the story to it? Um, so, <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, we all know what an astronaut is, and um, I think um, what we wanted to express through this song was... We can, I don't know, for, for me, the song is kind of just really bright, energetic, and it's really kind of cheeky as well. And um, mm -hmm. I think, you know, with Cheeks. the cheeky. Of, um, it being an astronaut, kind of, we wanted to say, you know, whatever, whatever it is, we're ready and we are going out for a new adventure. And that's just the whole thing, yeah. A new adventure? Mm hmm So does this song pick up where key left off yes <laughs> yeah <Ooh. laughs> cool. <laughs> cool i feel like you're divulging more than you want to yeah <laughs> yeah he did not want to say that <laughs> he, he brings it out from he does this for a reason. <laughs> you know how many times you've been requested to have you guys hang out with us oh really, oh, really? yeah a lot didn't your stays that. are out there. They are local. Yeah. <laughs> hey, They're local. Stays are amazing. I have a question for you guys. Can you explain this S K Z player thing? It's like an local. online series. Vocal is a word. It's coming back, right? Yeah. 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 You guys are doing. Did you say? Okay. Thank you. Stays are amazing. I have a question for you guys. Can you explain this S K Z player thing? It's like an online series. Uh, it's coming back, yeah. right? Yeah. 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 You guys are doing it again. Um. What is it? <laughs> yes. Coming soon. Coming soon. Coming soon. <laughs> supposed you know, to be secret. Yeah, we're, we're gonna be it. um, it's um, it's a platform for us where we can, um, you know, like Zach was saying earlier, how do you show like what you guys want to show at, like personally? Um, yeah, it's a platform for us where we can express, you know, a side where what we maybe haven't shown our stays before. Um, our most recent um, SKZ player was Lino. He was um he did like a dancing video and yeah it was really really cool so there's gonna be more to come so it's kind of like social media <laughs> yeah yeah mm -hmm. it's on youtube it's mm -hmm. mm -hmm. do you have your own personal instagrams or no 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 not yet, not yet, not yet. we don't we have only our team yeah yeah love you 
you. <laughs> <laughs> so YouTube's your best friend. Yes, he's he's everyone's best friend. That's my yeah. best friend. I totally get it. Like, Sam, yo, like? what, we don't you, have like, our own individuals. What do you watch on YouTube? Dinosaurs, we just share one. Aliens, <laughs> <and> something, <laughs> animation. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he's on like a different level to us. Yeah. You like Very conspiracy deep. theories? He, he likes everything. Mm. <laughs> he likes mm. everything. You know, like <laughs> strange things. Also. Yeah. The natural things. Natural yeah. things. Uh, he watches a lot of um, like like documentary Ghost. stuff. Yeah. 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 Like yo, National Geographic. Han yeah, he's on is that. my yeah. guy. Your my bad. Type of guy, yo. No, he is your type of guy. Han and Jisa are my dudes. I know it's the same person. <laughs> oh, maybe, you know, you, <laughs> you know Jisung is a desert seat, right? Cheetah Come on, man. <laughs> <laughs> Who's Jisung? <laughs> I'll never get over that. Yo. <laughs> Kevin was like a long time ago. He's like, I like Han, but I don't know who Jisung is. <laughs> 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 Check out our other streak. I wish you said I like Han, but Jisung is not so no, good. No, because I do the I same too, bro. I watch the same things he does. Oh um, my god. Like National Geographic? Yeah, he's Got on it. that. Yeah. Your brain is a sponge. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> maybe. You know, Cheetah is so fast. <laughs> Cheetah is yeah. really fast. That's all I know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Everybody knows that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, 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 YouTube reaffirmed that the Cheetah is fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, for everybody <laughs> else. <laughs> yeah. Any final thoughts? Well, I want to know what makes you guys different from other K-pop groups. Like, what makes Stray Kids Stray Kids? Oh. Ooh. To even be, you know, um, to be able to call a K-pop group for us, it's a really big honor. Um, to be a part of the K-pop community, the K-pop culture, it's re it's a really big honor for us as well. Um, if there was anything that could, I guess, um, maybe just characterize us uh, compared to other groups would be, I think, you know, I think it's just Stray Kids itself. I think Stray Kids has its own kind of genre um, yeah. and music. Mm. And um, you sound. Know, our, yeah. our music itself, there's a lot of different types of styles. But one thing, if it all has something in common, it's, it's got a really ongoing, never-ending energy. There's like a really big energy source to it. Mm. Um, luckily, our fans, they gain a lot of energy from that energy. And um, we always try to give out that energy as well. So I'd say maybe... <laughs> Yeah, and energy, cool. Yeah, yeah. Solid answer. Mm -hmm. yeah. Thank you. <laughs> I was watching you guys on YouTube make your cute faces. There's like a <laughs> name for that. Yeah, it's called egg yo. Oh. Egg yo. Oh my. Oh no. Do you guys actually find each other cute? Oh, okay. Yes. <laughs> so like I find you guys, you're all adorable. Yeah, but you find each other cute. <laughs> so cute. Of course, of course. Of course. No. <laughs> no, no. I mean, I mean, no. No. I am. No. I am. Everyone thinks he's cute. He's cute. I don't know him. I don't know him. No, but um, everyone has a in a. You know, oh, how do I explain it? Like, they, everyone has their own do you have your second own, person. Do you have like, your own bias? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> do you have a bias wow. in your own group? In team? Yeah. My bias is I am. Oh. <laughs> yes. No. Yeah. My bias is everyone. Oh. 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 You. Uh, you. you. <laughs> really <laughs> nah, we liked everyone. Yeah. 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 Everyone, everyone is just one thing. Like, Hans, bottom. like, you guys really made me pick one, and then you guys aren't going to say who. <laughs> <laughs> He's the only one that called me. No, but Hans went for a safe answer, yo. Not going to lie. <laughs> Ayan's yeah, always yeah. a safe answer. I'm surprised everybody didn't say Ayan. <laughs> right? Yeah, but who's the cutest, Felix? Oh. All right, Felix, you decide. Ooh. Oh, oh. Oh yeah. <laughs> He's like, oh, oh, Lena, Lena. No way. He's like, no, nah, nothing. Nah. Um, yeah, I think everyone. You know what? I have nothing to say because everyone's cute in their own way. So, mm -hmm. oh, yeah. But if you had to pick, <laughs> if, had to pick yeah, if you had to pick, do you want to show me something cute? No, 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 no. no, no. Come on, let's go with the youngest. Let's go with the youngest. You know what? Oh, like, what? Iron. <laughs> what? Oh, there's bang there. Yeah. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna have to pick Iron. Oh yeah. Yes. He's a lot of cute He's faces. Young, yeah. <laughs> That's just young Blaze. <laughs> Who knows? I could yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Stray kids, thank you. I appreciate the time and energy today. Oh I appreciate no. Appreciate you guys very much. No. Oh, thank you. Thank, thank you so much. Thanks for inviting us. Oh, my studio is always open, you guys. Oh really? Oh. Yeah. Uh, I'm coming uh, tomorrow. 
Yeah, whenever you want. <laughs> For lunch? Are I'm you? gonna sleep here today. <laughs> you guys all still live together? Yeah, yeah. We still do. In Korea. Yeah, still do. Yep. Yep. What a life. <laughs> what, what, a what a life. You guys are awesome. I appreciate the time and energy. <laughs> Give it up for Stray Kids. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Hey, Yo. beautiful human. Oh. Thanks for watching. Oh, hi. Our inter he called me no. beautiful human. Zach it's saying so beautiful. Yo, what an interview, man. He got. I love his questions. He put questions that were honestly kind of hard for Chan to answer because he was like. Because mm, he didn't want to spoil it or really just like, well. you know, leave it up to interpretation too. Yeah, like, yeah leave it up to meanings. Like what this yeah. means at the time, or what you guys, think. dude, yeah. just all of it. Really good questions, man. Beautiful. Max. Love the yep. show. Hopefully, Hopefully you guys enjoy enjoy all the actual watching along with us again. I, wow. I love the little ending too, where he was like, "Pick the cutest one." Right. <laughs> I love that. Um, I thought it was gonna make yeah, guys, me do egg yo, man. I was, I was like, oh my god. Man, I hope so too. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but yo, guys, hope you guys enjoy those. Stay tuned for more, and see you guys next time. Peace. Ciao, guys. Love y'all.